welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials so in this video i would like to explain about difference between ductile and brittle fracture so in my previous lecture the basic details about a failure of ductile and brittle materials so you will find a link in my description box so right now we will start with the basic difference between ductile and brittle fracture so just you can see in the case of ductile fracture and brittle fracture i will start with a ductile fracture so all the ductile materials that will be first the step is take place by the application of tensile load so just you can see application of tensile load our materials or you can say metallic materials it forms the necking necking means it reduce the cross sectional area so that will be reducing by the application of tensile load so first steps that will be necking is take place at your middle section of your material if it will be having a same cross sectional area if it will be some narrow area into the materials so at that place the necking is being take place second part after the necking is being generating the formation of cavities so at the next area that will be formation of cavity so tiny cavities is being generating at the region of necking once again the load it will be continuous with both the directions so this cavity it will be collapse and it forms a crack so that will be the third step kvt now it will be converting into the cracks so by the collapsing of kvts so it forms crack so that will be continue application of tensile load so these cracks is being propagates so the next step that will be the crack propagations so once kvt is form into the neck area so that will be the starting point of the fracture of the ductile materials so this kvt is always converts into the cracks and that cracks once it will be form so it get propagates so generally the crack grows at the 90 angle to the applied load so this is the direction of applied load and the cracks it will be propagates into this directions then after application of the tensile load whether that will be the maximum or minimum but it get failure so the failure of the ductile materials it forms fiber structure at the cross section area so in case of ductile materials it always failure from the necking so necking is generally found into the ductile materials now i am talking about brittle fracture so in case of the brittle fracture your material suddenly get failure so in the case of the brittle materials application of tensile load there will be the little deformation or you can say no deformation so that will be called as a brittle fracture so all the ductile materials or you can say ductile fractures first it will be the formation of necking so in the case of brittle there is no necking so the first basic difference if you found a necking so that will be considering as a ductile fracture if there is a no any kind of reduction into cross sectional area so that will be called as a brittle fracture in case of ductile fracture it involves large plastic deformations so plastic deformations it will be in simple language it will be the permanent deformations so it involves large plastic deformations then it will be failure but in case of the brittle fracture it associated with minimum plastic deformations so there will be little or no permanent deformations so your material get failure by the application of the 
impact loading. The next, in case of ductile fracture, it always proceeded localized deformations called as a necking. Just you can see that will be necking. It will be only take place into the ductile fracture. But in case of the brittle fracture, does not involves necking. So there will be the no any kind of reduction into cross sectional area of the materials. Then. In case of the ductile fracture, normally occurs during the grains. So, in the solidification of the process for formation of the materials, so it will be makes grain size and grain boundaries. So, just you can see. So, this will be called as a grain size and these green lines it will be grain boundary so in case of structure of materials that will be made with the different grain size and each and every grain size that will be separated by grain boundaries so if you observe the fracture in ductile materials, so normally occurs through the grains. So just you can see, so that will be failure of the materials, you should find onto the grains. Now for the brittle fracture, just you can see. So in case of brittle fractures, it always at your grain boundaries. So by the application of the load, the failure it will be observing at the grain boundaries. So by the application of the load, your material it will be failure through the grain boundaries. So that will be having a little or no deformations. If your materials it will be failure through the grain size so it will be having a enough capacity to withstanding the load or you can say stress now in case of ductile fracture if you observe the cross sectional area so rough and dirty structure at the fracture so just you can see this is component so it will be failure like this by the application of tensile load. So it found as a rough and dirty structure or you can say rough and dirty cross sectional area at the fracture. But in case of the brittle kind of fracture, so if you find that, so it forms a sharp edges like this. So once you join both the surfaces of the fracture so it will be having a same dimensions but in case of the ductile if you interested to join these two cross-sectional area so it will be having a enough elongation so in the case of the ductile it always makes rough and dirty structures and in case of the brittle it always makes a sharp plane structure by the application of the tensile load in case of ductile, it always occurs by slow tearing of the metals with expansure of the considerable energy. But in case of the brittle fracture, it occurs suddenly fracture without any kind of warning. So that will be the dangerous for the any engineering applications. So ductile materials, it should be failure after the elastic deformation then plastic deformation and then failure but in case of the brittle it will be having a suddenly failure so each and every ductile materials it will be failure with a warning but without warning the brittle materials it will be failure so i hope you understand the basic difference between ductile fracture and brittle fracture 
so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching